Hello, hello. So I've been talking to a, a few folks and I've been reading some posts and I never realized that this was a big issue. Well, I do realize it's an issue, but I never realized how big of an issue, how many women are actually going through men ghosting them. So I wanted to touch bases on why, why is it that he seems distant at times? What happens when you are on fire at first? First 60 days, new relationship, everyone is jealous of such a great man you have that you found. And he seems like a good dude. Small justice show you that he's interested in you. He calls you, texts you often. You think everything is good. And then all of a sudden, you feel something has changed. He seems distant in every sense of the meaning. And it has gotten you questioning yourself, thinking, what did you do? A lot of women go through that stage. But I, I'm going to help you out to tell you you didn't do anything. You are afraid that when you he will ignore you if you try to talk to him, you have no idea what's going on. Let me give you five reasons possibly why he's changed. Maybe he's number one. Maybe he's going through some things. The world is very stressful for men right now. I'm not making using that as an excuse because, as I've said before, communication is key. But maybe he is going through some things. I'm not sure what type of person you are. If you're the type of person he can come to to communicate with, if you've made him feel comfortable, like the Proverbs 31 woman, that her husband knew that she causes him no harm. So he, he knew he can come to her with anything. So I don't know if that's your story, but maybe that's why he hasn't came to come to you. Um, as men, we are always told that, that we, we handle it. We're supposed to handle it. You know, we, we just we just take care of things because we feel like if we don't take care of stuff, then we're going to be, um, you know, we're going to be put in this category of not being a man or being soft. So we tend to just take care. We just handle it. And sometimes all the time when we handle stuff, we we mess it up. We get messy. And, and so this type of man that I'm speaking about is a ungodly man because a godly man knows that, listen, you can't fight this battle alone. That's why God made two, so you can become one. You can't fight this battle alone. That's why God has given us the, the, the beautiful gift of prayer and the Holy Spirit, because you can't fight this battle alone. The enemy is more powerful than you, so God doesn't want us to fight it alone. This type of God does not understand the power of prayer nor communication. I used to be one. I used to be one. You know, I'm not proud to say it. But I'm proud to say that I'm no longer one. I'm recovered. Maybe the reality of a commitment, number two, maybe the reality reality of a commitment is scaring him. So that's why he's sending you mixed signals, unless it's sex. See, a man that has one foot in the door, one foot out of the door, he knows that he has you sexually. So he knows that if he's giving you good sex, you're going to stay around for, for a little bit longer anyway. So that's why I always say take sex out of the game, then you really get to see to truly see who the person's intended, what their intentions were. You really get to see what that person's motives are. You take sex out of it. But for some reason, women don't know that the power between their legs is greater than the power between his legs. So women tend to be the weaker one and giving their bodies up to him when that man wants what she got, what she has. Ladies, get control of it. And you'll get control over your relationship. Um, I read something that he said, uh, no matter how good of a woman you are, if he's not ready, he will never commit past sex in a few dates. And that's the truth is that, you know, you can be the best woman in the world. If this man is not ready, then he's, he doesn't see you. He doesn't see you for being that good woman in the world. You can't, uh, uh, well, somebody on my Facebook page said, you can't turn a hoe into a husband. And you cannot. This man has to already be ready coming into your life. But unfortunately, there's a lot of men out there. All they see is your body. They don't see what you can offer them. They see the shell of you. They don't see your heart. So that type of man is very dangerous to your purpose in life because he'll slow it down and derail you. Um, number four. Number four. Things men are afraid of is death, child support, being broke, and unfortunately, a true commitment. 
In order for us to give you 100% of our freedom, we have to know that you are all we want and need. And unfortunately, not many men know what they want and need. That's facts. He, go, he goes halfway in. Many men have the option social media has given them. Men, we think that we have all these wonderful options. So we don't take the we don't take the the one that God has sent to us in our life that really is the only option. And we 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 miss our blessings time after time after time after again. That's why there's so many men broken and they won't admit it, but they're broken. A godly man knows his gift in you. A godly man knows that. You come to help him in his purpose, not take away from his purpose. So when you have these men that come into your life for a brief moment and go ghost, I guarantee you it's because you've already gave them sex. They've already got what they wanted. They've already experimented with it. They've already test drove, driven the car to where they, they know either you're going to be the freak that they want or not freaky enough for them. And if you're the freak that they want, they will keep you around. They may keep you around for three, four, five years, but they will never give you the ultimate commitment of marriage. They will give you a whole bunch of broken promises and hope, hopes, because men know words is what women hope on. I know you guys want actions, but you guys keep falling for these men's words. And that's what's getting you in these long, drawn out relationships and broken because you're, you're listening to his words and not his actions. So this type of man will always go ghost. The type of man that always go ghost because he had another relationship going on the whole time. This type of man that goes ghost is the type of man that either had a marriage or had a, had a full commitment or got another woman, another woman pregnant. Those are the type of men that go ghost, ladies. Don't believe the hype that a man is going through so much in his life that he can't focus on his relationship. A real man, a real godly man, know that when he's going through something, his rib is the one that he needs to lean on, and that's you. That's what a real godly man understands, that he needs to go to his his rib, his his soulmate, his helpmate, his, his purposeful mate, and she's going to make sure she see him through whatever it is that he's going on. But a man with bad intentions comes to rob and steal. He comes to rob and steal, and then he deposits his soul ties in you. Because remember, every time you have sex with somebody, he takes something from you and then he leaves something. He takes your heart then he leaves his, his soul ties of generation and generation of women and women and women. He leaves those soul ties in you and then you wonder why you're depressed and why you're down and why you're so heartbroken and why you can't get over this individual. Those are the type of men that go ghost on you. Protect your purity, women. Protect, protect yourself from these type of men. Test those spirits, as the Bible says. Don't rush into dating. Don't rush into making titles. Don't rush into making that person your, your man. Date them. And when you date them, and when you withhold sex from them, and when you take sex from them, you'll truly see the intention of, of a man. Satan has no patience. A godly man has all the, all the patience. Have a wonderful day.